textile artist and I work with Muse Italia in the city of Bologna. Uh, the project that I've just concluded and which lasts three years with a class of the Bonvici primary school in Bologna is called Weaving the History. And uh, the project uh, will took place within an even bigger event, a European uh, project, Erasmus Plus, called Creando Puentes. As the name suggests, the, the goal I set myself to achieve was precisely that of using art um, as a thread of union for creation and communication and between adults and children and between different uh, cultures inside the class. laboratory where children practice and approach the world of tapestry weaving. First of all, we went to look into the history of art when men began to weave herbal or plant fibers and even when we start to develop a taste and the sensitivity for color and to dye the intertwined fibers. But above all, when we start to leave testimonies of the materials that have come since to us today. Furthermore, uh, we analyze how textile uh, technique have evolved uh, over the centuries and to discover also what are those labels uh, that just bother us so much inside our garment, our t-shirt, was it written inside? And also how contemporary artists uh, still create wonderful big tapestry, uh, wonderful works of art with this ancient technique. So uh, we create a map uh, with all of these questions and start our journey through the discovery of historical image and tapestry. And then uh, we move into discovery uh, of uh, the weaving techniques, uh, thanks to use a small loom uh, that Muse provide to a child, especially during the COVID time when everybody was at home and we can't, uh, we can't meet uh, inside the class. <laughs> My part was uh, also supported by a musician colleague uh, who developed her educational path with them uh, through rhythm and songs where music stories of intertwining are ended down as in uh, Tarantula, a typical traditional music of southern Italy and uh, as a folk dances around the pole with uh, treats uh, which recall uh, the, theme, the theme of the spider and the arachne. This is how music and weaving met in the same class. A very important aspect of the project, which had a positive impact on the, on the children, was also the connection with the Medieval Civic Museum of Bologna, uh, twined uh, with our project. And uh, from the rich historical collection of the museum, I have chosen two works in particular that helped me for the realization of my work with the class. Il Piviale di San Domenico, the Cope of San Domenico from around the 1300s and the gold crescent, uh, crescent shape earring from the Byza uh, Byzantine period. And uh, these two elements so different in their magnitude and usefulness have um, allowed me to work with the children on differences and equality on the symbolism of shape and elements, this is how I was able to start a new artistic and textile design that was developed later on in the classroom. So we discovered together how two works so distant in time can have, uh, thanks to the intertwining of a thread, a story to tell us and how this thread can also unite uh, many stories from many cultures of the world, from the past to the present day in uh, our school project.
vegetale, un filato di vino e poi vi avevo raccontato anche dei colori, anche filati d'oro e poi i colori che vedete sono stati ottenuti dalle piante di donna, l'agricoltore che l'ha visto, il blu dal guado, dalla pianta di guado. In conclusion, thanks to the trees woven in the past and over the various era that have told us so many stories of people of the world, we have discovered how to become storytellers too, storytellers of our time. Certainly a slower time, such as that uh, which requires the work with the loom, but which brings with it uh, the preparation of warps for future plots of art and peace.